welcome back to the channel, everyone. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Anywho, okay, time to get on these quests. Uh, okay, first one. Independent weapons smith. Gonganga Ezo Smithery. I've been striving to create the greatest weapon that had that ever was, but my efforts, I've yet to m make any meaningful progress. There's an essential element I'm missing, the seed of inspiration, but I know it's out there. I just need something or someone to help me grasp it. Okay. Of course, one quest at a time. That is my rule. Apparently, it's this way. Wait. Oh, boy. He's up there. <laughs> so, we get these... So let's get these quests quickly done so that we can move on. Any. What the? I don't think I remember this. Oh, now I do actually. Now apparently he's somewhere up that way. Uh, let's wait. Bring oh. it. And I forgot to switch back to my normal party. Brace yourself. All right. Here it comes. Apparently, I gotta go this direction. Aha! Someone lives all the way out here, in this wee hut. <laughs> uh, talk about rustic. Then again, a life without Mako. Uh, it's not without its charm, is it? In fact, this could be a whole new string to the Shinra Resort's bow, eh? The rural off modernity and embrace eternity. You'd be surprised how many people would go for it. Could be a nice little earner. <laughs> like it. Man, he certainly he certainly has a salesman pitch, doesn't he? Okay. Oh, we're using this tune. After all that time and effort, is it the design? Ugh, not making any progress at all. <gasps> oh, I know who this is. Oh man, they actually put him here. Oh, I didn't What's even. What's wrong with you? Why would you try that? I didn't even realize where what this was. This is big, a big point. Okay, I think I know what the ultimate, res um, what what the item we're gonna get at the end of this is based on the fact. Surely this isn't your very best. <laughs> the hell with it. Back to square one, huh? Who are you? Whatever. 
I don't have time to... <sighs> that arm. That magnificent arm. Uh, it is a weapon. But how does it work? Uh, a universal adapter. Allowing you to switch out weapons at will. But look at all these scratches. Wait. Have you been going around punching things with your attachments? Uh, occasionally. Doing so ought to have given you multiple bone fractures. But this unique cylinder provides unparalleled shock absorption, allowing for high impact performance. Who was the genius that built this? Uh, an old friend, I guess. Don't know where he's at now, though. Uh, wait right there. <laughs> Eureka! Uh, <laughs> sorry, got carried away. My name's Izo. I've been trying to create the ultimate weapon, but my attempts have all failed miserably. But thanks to you, I finally made a breakthrough. I must harness the inspiration while I can. Please, help me build it. Gather the materials I need. Okay, I <laughs> Okay, so they changed it up on me. I'm not actually doing it. Uh, this is a Barrett based um, one, and I just believe I just put them in my party, so this is perfect. I'm originally from Junon, but I could hardly breathe there, so I decided to leave it all behind. I wandered in search of somewhere I could build my weapons in peace, and eventually I wound up here. Not a bad place, huh? Of course, materials can be hard to come by when you live out here in the sticks. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, obvious question. Though it seems crude at a glance, look close. The craftsmanship is remarkable. Whoever made it must have been a specialist in a completely different field. No mere weaponsmith would have been half as clever. Okay, ultimate weapon. I don't think we're going to get Ultimate Weapon yet. Indeed. I've made it my life's work. Frustrating though it's been. How to conceive a weapon I lack the vocabulary to describe. Okay. Well, if all you need is some material, sure. Why not? Just leave it to us. Wonderful. Thank you. I believe I left a map in my storage shed that you can use to find what I need. Grab that before you head out, and you shouldn't have any trouble. Okay, it's the hunt. Storage card key. Right. Hmm. <sighs> Right, um, yeah, Barry is in the party, good. That's... Say, never seen someone so interested in my arm. Most folks try their best to look the other way. He's a weird one. Huh. That's putting it mildly. Made me realize too how soft I've gotten. Cause in the old days, I would have said no touching and decked his ass. In the old days? If it ain't the present, it's the past, son. <laughs> okay, this is just turning into a comedy. And I should have realized based on the music, cause that's Barrett's scene in the background. I should have realized whose thing this was. Okay, so where do I go next? Okay, that way. Uh-huh. So basically, Barrett's about to get a new weapon. I thought this was going to be for Air. Oh, he's a Avalanche supporter. Uh. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, this is different. It must be the map Izo was talking about. Don't know what else it'd be. Well, let's see where it takes us. You ready? Okay. Based on what that first image was, okay, view notes. If I can avoid, darn it. Okay. Oh boy, I've got I'm running out of mater I'm running out of space for materials again. Fine. Okay, I'm missing something that I do not know what I just missed. Can't believe I'm unless. That would be a no. Should be somewhere around here. Nice. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, who's calling? Titan, you know what? Okay, Barrett, I need you to do a heal. Pretty rough on you, I know, but you've always come through for me. Thanks, buddy. Don't know where I'd be without you. Okay. Aerith, where are you? more to find okay so that's what it was it was that stuff but I just can't get it off oh hello Come on, can you please grab it? Cloud? Hold up. Is that everything? It is. Let's head back and check in with Ezo. Okay. We'll just fast travel because it's just going to be a lot quicker to do it. So what do you have? Oh, did you find everything? Mm -hmm. That map will lead you straight to where you can find my materials. Oh, but do keep an eye out for monsters. Yeah, okay. all here. Thanks. If you're not in a rush, wait here while I finish up. <laughs> I get that it's your profession, but do you actually enjoy this? Making weapons? Of course I enjoy it. That's why I chose this job. Besides, it's the wielder who dictates the true value of a tool. Weapons, too. Aye. That's especially true for weapons. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, Whoa. yes! I've done it! Feast your eyes on my masterpiece! 
My gift to you. I insist. I may not be the gentlest owner, you know. <laughs> Use her as you like. The wielder dictates the value of the tool, remember? And by association, the value of the maker. Therefore, what good I put out into the world depends on who I entrust with my weapons. That's how I choose to see my part in it all. <laughs> Hell of a lot of pressure to put on some guy you just met, don't you think? The adapter that your friend made. It's a gift in more ways than you know. He was thinking of your future, of what you might do after the dust settles. Today, you may have no choice but to wield a weapon. But tomorrow? Years from now? Think about it if you haven't. The man who fashioned your adapter is an inspiration in his own right. And that's no lie. <laughs> Maybe one day you'll ask me to turn your arm into a giant egg beater. I'll make it so you can whip up a cake to serve a hundred. <laughs> Weird time to be joking around, man. Not joking in the least. That's the price for my masterpiece. You owe me a cake fit for a king. But don't you go dying on me. You hear? Yeah. Talk about a weirdo. Friendly, though. True. A weirdo with a heart of gold. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Okay, that was well worth it. I mean, like, what the heck did he just give her anyway? Yeah, she is a beauty. Okay, consumes all ATB charge to deliver a close range attack and send enemies flying. Oh, finish off an enemy. Nice. You better bet I'm giving that to him. Because he also gets an extra slot from it. I'm gonna need to get some more fire materia, aren't I? Yeah, I want to give him a fire. As soon as that time is done, I'm gonna actually. Yeah, as soon as this time is done, I'm going. As soon as time and time and gravity are done, I'm basically going to be giving him the full elemental. So I got to get him a fire. We got to go back anyway, so we might as well grab it there. Looking good, pal. Right. Come on, stop kicking me back. Yeah, I think I did the last one first. Right. Enjoy your stay with us. We're already done with Chadley for the time being. I'm Don't still not gonna do any of those um combat sims. I pretty much am gonna do it in one fell one complete go. Oh, which one am I? Where is the bloody material shop? This is a general goods shop. It's a general store. The black things are gone. Do you guys get rid of them? I heard the grapevine that Izo's singing a different tune now. Huh? Oh, you buying? I thought you just wanted to chew the fat. Okay, Barrett. Okay, wait. That's a priority. Well, I'm going... Ooh. I can get an entire set for everyone. Yeah. 
Can I interest you in some fresh? Uh, never mind. Okay. Maybe I should splurge for. So obviously, revive materia is going to become a requirement in the future for me. Any skill, skill materia, HP up, lightning wind, fire and ice with a AP up. Because I'm trying to get these done. Basically, the next slot he gets, he's getting his revive. Barrett, I have to give him... I have to give him his fire now. Red, let's see what you have. You only need your ice. You're already set up. Aerith. Heal and assess. Okay. I get a bad... Uh, yeah, that's right. <gasps> right. Um, I forgot. I need to actually put him back on his on his proper, proper one. Okay. Healing. He's got his healing. He needs a... Yep. Okay, you can get rid of that. And that, I don't really have use for these. Okay. You're getting your, your revive. I'm going to give you your lightning too. Oh crap, I just realized... No, not yet. He needs his assess. And his blank steel. Actually, I'll give him the complete steel. No, I'll rank up the blank one. Because he actually does need that. Unless. Right, Aerith is the one that has the extra slots in her thing because I want, because she's got the best. Once and get the premium fee. Okay, perfect. <sighs> That's the potato. Next. Okay. Teach me, great warrior. Oh, oh, it's looking for someone to teach me ways of the warrior to help me reach my full potential. No matter the suffering, no matter the sacrifice, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Uh, I think this is a Tifa centric one. So, this might be a Yuffie one. There's the person. All right, we gotta go up there. Oh, um, since you're here, I need your help to become a true warrior. Please guide me to greatness. I'm so tetsu, by the way. With the GYC. Captain's been singing your praises, you know. Telling everyone how you turned some state-of-the-art Shinra weaponry into scrap metal. Oh, so you heard about all that? Well, I don't want to brag or anything, but we crushed him. Really? You have to teach me how you did that. Gotta make Zack proud, you know? Okay. Zack? 
He's a friend of mine. We grew up together, hung out and stuff. I haven't heard from him since he left the village, though. But I'm sure a soldier like him's pretty busy. We may not be at war, but I bet they've got him traveling all over. Okay. Yeah. To protect the village, of course. We're seeing more monsters these days, and I want to do my part. And, you know, it might also be kind of cool if everyone in the coalition called me a hero and the captain gave me a promotion. Or something like that. Sorry, no can do. We're just passing through. Please! I'm begging you! Huh? Wait. Me? I knew as soon as I saw your throwing star. From the moment I laid eyes on you and your weapon, I just had to make you my teacher. Please, train me in your warrior ways. Oh, I don't know. Well, since you're such a huge fan, one or two orbs might be enough compensation for my time. You sure you're up for the challenge? Of course. I'll do anything. Hmm. Sweet music to my ears. Okay, new disciple. Meet me over there when you're ready. For pain. Don't worry. I am more than ready to receive your wisdom. Hey! Come along. See what you can learn, my second disciple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Quickly. Yeah, I figured it was going to be this way. Right. Um, combat settings. Right. Dio. Okay, this is a longer one. First and foremost, a ninja must have stamina. So let's see how much you've already got, shall we? After all, a ninja warrior must be able to make a tactical retreat back to her comrades when they need her. Understood, Master. All right. Very well. Then with that, let our training begin. I hope you're staying focused, my young disciple. Halt, fiend! Please, teach me your ways, master. Okay. It's on you. Yeah, I'll do it. them next time right let's try this again Darcy. Oh, fiend! Please, 
Okay. Good to go. All right. Watch and learn. Okay, let's see if this works. But stay down, asshole. <laughs> Time to waste. Good. Eris, if you please. Like the saying goes, can't see the ninjas for the trees. Okay, let's see where this is going right now. Okay. Now, strike swift and true! Show me how it's done! Okay, this is the other go. Come on, just do it, will you? Go on. Oh, come on, attack him! This needs to attack now, twice. Strike swift and true. Show me how it's done. It's on you. About damn time. And I'm coming for you. Hold an opportunity right here. Your 
Okay. Now this one's you also. Okay. I'll make you proud. Take this. I'm coming for you. Nice. Great teamwork. <laughs> okay. Here's my question then. Nope. Yep, we got it. <laughs> Wasn't that difficult, really. How many more steps does he need? Two more. Take a quick look around. You rest up for the next round. <laughs> Think you should focus on stamina, not strength. <laughs> yeah, Zach told me the same thing. He used to train here all the time. Called it his secret gym. Of course, it wasn't much of a secret since everyone knew about it. But it sounded cool. Hard to live up to the legacy of a guy like that. <sighs> Check this out. It was his favorite exercise. Her strength. Uh, her body. Uh, her mind. Uh, start. Uh, by training. Uh, you're behind. <laughs> Not like that. Gotta go deeper. Bend your knees more. Engage your glutes. And your quads. Got it. <laughs> Wherever he is, I hope he's doing good. You cramping up? Uh oh. Oy. What the? Get back. Gonna My turn. Okay. Right. 
So fire definitely is our friend here. Okay. Um, nope, we're just gonna fire out this, this one. No, we're firing that one. Okay, back off. No. Darn, still don't have that mastered. But. Need a light? Burn. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Ability, come on. Let's do it. Good to go. Let's do it. And good night. Gotta give it my all. <laughs> A little close, but that works. We, we actually won? Wow. All that training really paid off. Wait a sec. That's it. I've got an idea. See you back at the village. Ah! Uh, hello. What about my materia? We gotta go back to the village anyway, so. Let's see what he learned. Uh, first thing first, I am gonna stop by the bloody um, rest station because yeah, that one hurt. without any real fanfare. Yeah, anyways, if you are enjoying these videos, please like and subscribe. Canyon's pretty far. Be prepared for a long journey. Okay, shush. Okay, let's see what he found out. Notice the howling stop. Remember, no feeding the wildlife. Right. So we just talked it over. And we'd like to ask you to train all of us in the art of combat. Our coalition's only as good as its weakest member. So it only makes sense to get stronger together. We're really just passing through. But you could rest here for a while. Hmm. Our services don't come cheap. 
It'll cost you a million gil. <laughs> That's a pretty steep price, but we could probably manage. What? Oh, and he forgot to mention materia. Preferably the precious kind. That we can't do. <sighs> Look, Sotetsu, they may be good at their jobs, but don't you think they're asking a bit much? We're looking for training, not trouble. If you're looking for someone to train you, then look no further. <laughs> no money or materia required. Well, thanks, Sisne. That'd be great. But what about them? They're veterans of the battlefield and under their tutelage. What? My tutelage not good enough? In case you've forgotten, I've seen my fair share of action. If all of you are serious about upping your game, I'll help you out. In fact, I've been meaning to offer for a while now. Seeing as we're here, well... Sounds good to me. Me too. Well, I thought it was a good idea. Sorry I wasn't able to convince the rest of them. It's just, I felt something when we first met. Almost like fate. And I guess I got a little carried away. Don't sweat it. Then that settles it. Listen up. There's no backing out now, so be warned. I won't go easy. Roger! Roger. Cloud, Yuffie! I know you've got to make a living and all, but you might want to consider lowering your rates. I'll consider it after you consider paying me! Where's my materia? Three orbs, or two, two's good! Enough already. You're embarrassing yourself. Just one, dude! <laughs> uh, she is still 16, last I looked. So, <laughs> I'll give her a little bit of, um... Leeway here. Nope, oh, I was not trying to do that. Okay, next one. And good to see Cisne is taking her action, her role as Lear. Seriously. Ah! Uh, I was hoping to be done. My chicken coop poked full of fresh old because of the black stuff from the reactor. Some were big enough for my little deers to wriggle through and run off. Okay. All right. I was ser seriously hoping to be done after this quest, but apparently not. For now at least. Say, can you spare a minute? Not really. You know that weird black stuff coming out of the reactor? Well, the wind seems to be carrying it all the way over here. I admit my shack's never been in the best condition. But look at it. Holes everywhere. Holes so big that would you believe it? All my chickens flew the coop. I plugged up the holes, but beyond that, I'm at wit's end here, let me tell you. Laughing and running around like crazy. How's an old woman like me supposed to catch them all? I can't keep up with a flock of chickens. Okay. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, but these two got away. PP and Peep are so easygoing. They stayed right here with me without any urging. But Pippily and Pippity and Pippy and Peep, well, they didn't hesitate. Took off like lightning. <laughs> we don't usually see anything like that around these parts. From that black stuff to those bizarre aeroplanes. I tell you, all this craziness is enough to drive a poor woman mad. 
The peace and quiet was the only good thing about this place. <laughs> okay. So we just need to catch your chickens, right? Oh, thank you, dearie. Birds, they love the sound of this here clanger. Use it and they'll come out from wherever they're hiding and follow you right back to the coop. My nose should serve us well here. Right. Take it away. Three of them are still in the village. We should start by searching the surrounding area. Okay, quickly first. Uh, we gotta put Red back in the party because this is apparently his quest for the area. <sighs> I do want him in the party anyways. Okay, how do I do this? You came back to your mommy. Okay. Over there. Right. Okay. to square one.
okay. So what are you then? I'm Kit Sefton, fortune teller extraordinaire. I think it might be time to top up the old batteries. Wow, that's scary. Oi. No, you be careful. Leaves Tiffany. Goodness me, how far could she have gone? Tiffany ran off toward the airfield. We must find her before the fiends do. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. Nope, I just gotta follow Red. Please, bloody tell me that we don't have to pull her back all the bloody way. Somewhere in the vicinity. Allow me to lead the way. Yeah, I'm waiting for you. Okay, new area. That's a long way back to town. Careful now. Uh. I hate this. I hate these kind of quests. Give it all 
crap. Allow me. Okay. Okay. Hey. You needn't worry. Their newfound fear of the outside world has driven them home with all haste. You speak chicken? More or less. They were quite eager to return to the village. Kazra must take excellent care of them. We should go too. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God we did not have to deal with the you know, thing all the way back. That would have been a nightmare. <laughs> You're funny. I just have to look. Yep. We're good. We just need something that you don't have. But I can at least sell a few things. Anything that's at 100% I can sell a huge chunk of. That should be good. Take good care of your choco buddies. Yeah, that's not worth me leaving that uh, completely full up. All I'm doing is wasting um, inventory space and materials. My darlings, I'm so relieved you all made it up safe and sound. They appear most pleased to be reunited with you in this place they call home. Thank you. They can be a handful, and chasing them really works up the appetite. So allow me to whip you up some of Grandma Kazra's famous grilled chicken. Say good night, Pippoli. <gasps> I don't 
think I've ever met such nice young people. Come back any time, you hear? There's plenty more scrumptious grilled chicken where that came from. They... They could have lived long and happy lives running free. If I hadn't... Well... We all gotta eat? Oh! <laughs> oh, that <laughs> that ending, that ending was like what the? It was everything good until the last second? Good God! I'm so glad it did not end. It, it did not end as um terrifying as I thought it was. Okay, Sisney. What do you have? Okay. By the way, the thing with the polo relic, apparently there was a missable dialogue. Mm. You're not in your normal spot. And I think we got a free heal out of that. Oh, there you are. Cooking happened. Watch your feet. Oh. What am I gonna do about you? <laughs> wow, that's a smell. <laughs> we should go. Now. Wait, don't leave. Treat you guys to a bowl if you help with the ingredients. Okay. Dad. Can put up a fight. The knife I've got wasn't long enough to chop it in one clean go. Had to get stabby. And that bulbous bastard. The onion. I mean, I had to close my eyes while I cut it. But that might have been a bad call. I feel ya. Okay. <laughs> Bungaga mushroom soup. It smells pretty good, all in all. Unfortunately, it's lacking in the flavor department. Okay. That's the problem. It needs something, but I'm not sure what. Maybe some more Gungaga mushrooms would do the trick. Or a hunk of Kepto, I mean. Let's not. Okay. So, what more do you need? Hmm. Oh, right. Torgan's vegetables. That frog's probably parked near the village entrance, selling his produce. You mind swinging by and picking up some of his stuff for me? Okay. Okay, this shouldn't be that difficult. Also, <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That is so funny. <laughs> Can't leave it to a combat veteran who's not good at cooking. That should have been a Tifa. That should be a Tifa side quest, not an errand. Tifa's obviously the cook. What a sweet boy you were for staying behind for me. You'll be good to Torgan now, you hear? Oh. Uh, did you just pay that dog money? Oh, him? That's Melon, Torgan's pup. He comes by from time to time to South Earth Farm's produce. We grow our own veggies here in town too, but the ones from Torgan's field are especially delicious. Come on, let's go after him. Okay. Be careful out there. And, um, real quick. I'm not going to bother changing Yuffie out of the party just yet.
And we get the and we get that sound. Okay. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Yuffie. You've been in the party a lot lately. My boy, how'd it go today? Good. Hello. Not seen you before. Out of towners? Just visiting. Yeah. So, could we buy some of your produce? Can't help you. Don't sell to out of towners. Barely got enough for the locals as is. Judging by them duds you got on, you're city folk, ain't you? I ain't about to sell the bounty of my soil to young'uns who ain't never got down in the muck with me and mine. Now get. I don't know the first thing about farming, but I do know how happy these veggies are. Can practically hear them. <laughs> got an eye for the stuff, but you're telling me you got an ear too? What's this one saying? Something about how rich the soil is. How it can thrive and spread its roots deep, grow big and strong. I'll be. Oh, quit with the guilt tripping now, will ya? You know perfectly well I wasn't gonna leave them high and dry. We ain't seeing any more customers today, I reckon. So whatever we got left over is yours for the taking. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. They finally learned to talk back. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually trying to make gungaga mushroom soup. What do you think we should use? Any advice would be great. Hmm. At the risk of stating the obvious, you'll need some quality gungaga mushrooms. Or better yet, some Maganga mushrooms. They'll take that soup of yours to the next level. Things grow on a hill near here, but unless you got one hell of an eye, better to rely on a chocobo. They're flavorful suckers, so three caps ought to more than suffice. Pick them one at a time, though, if you want to keep your bird from getting all addled. Their aroma can be mighty powerful. And be mindful of the beasties, too. A lot of types are awful fond of the mushroom scent. Gotcha. Ah, and you can't forget the salt. Nothing brings out the flavor better than a sprinkling. And magunga mushrooms being what they are, you're going to want to savor it. Proper kind of salt for it's got a color close to this. Melon, you get them where they need to go. Oh, boy. Oh boy, please tell me I have a means, um, nope.
Those things are getting super easy to defeat now. I'm starting to understand how the combat system really works. This is going to change how I do the original one too. Do, do remake as well. Oh, that's a new. That's new. Never saw that one. Gonkin Bang. Gotta be careful. Crap, I'm Okay. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Nope. Um, gold needle. Please tell me you have a gold needle. You're welcome. <laughs> Do me proud. Leave it to me. Oh, right. Kate is my secondary character. I thought that... <laughs> I forgot everyone's always together here. Okay, um... Ain't dead yet. Doesn't have anything, but she does have fire ninja too. Okay. Goodbye. I can't believe that, it, uh, that that she hasn't been in the party, but yeah, no, no, I understand why we had things the way they were. Oh man, why we had things the way they were. Because uh, um, we're going for the Florist um, side quest. I see it. I don't even need Looks to. Looks like they're all slightly different colors. Let's see. Well, one of these Automatch Torkins picture. I don't even have to ask. It's got to be this one. Pink Himalayan, no doubt. You know, we're going to grab all three. Are you 
just picking stuff at random. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. No, I'm just picking them all up. Yeah, it was the pink one. It was the first one I grabbed. I don't know. Is that the right color? Nope. All right. I think we've got plenty of salt now. Next up are the Magunga mushrooms. Torgan said we'll need a chocobo to sniff them out. Actually, wait a second. Mmm. Must be the area Torgan was talking about. Though we're gonna need a chocobo to search. The Magunga mushroom. Note its mushroom like qualities. Just gotta be very careful. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Plucked. More of them ought to be around here somewhere. Okay, back to the birds. Okay. Okay, um, spell. Another one. Into the sack it goes. So
unfortunately was the most give. Okay, I get it now. picking mr. Merck <laughs> okay one more to go let's use the chocobos to find the last mushroom Okay. Right. Final. Let's not mess this up. Yes, let's. Five segments, huh? Uh, 
Ah, uh, now I get. Yeah. Broken or not, it all tastes the same, right? That should be it for the mushrooms. Yep, looks like we're done done. Let's get this stuff to Cisne. Okay. Never mind. We only get three cans. You you only get, you can't get a perfect. If you mess up one, you mess them all up. You messed it up. It is what it is. Enjoy your stay with us. What do you want from me? More heat? Get it? Uh, falling fire! Enjoy your new home in the trash can. Am I ever gonna get this right? Okay. <laughs> Well, we're kind of stuck the way we are right now, so three star, two stars to step in. We come bearing ingredients. Why don't you give it one more shot? I can pitch in too. Well, since you guys went to the trouble. Okay, one more shot. This might turn out okay. <laughs> Told you. The fairs are always inviting me over for dinner. Thought I'd be nice and return the favor by making them poison, apparently. But as you can see, I'm a sore loser. Cooking's never as easy as you think. Got that right. Didn't need to learn back in Midgar. The company provided all our meals. Tasted like garbage, though. Don't know how I stomached the stuff. That bad, huh? <laughs> but what about the bombberry flavor? <clears throat> bombberry? What, like the military rations? Yeah, those. Uh, sorry, that's really not important. Uh, what is important is the soup. The soup. Time to taste test. <sighs> Whoa there, might want to let it cool. Right. Oops. That's pretty good. You can really taste the Gangaga mushrooms. This flavor is incredible. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> okay, I would have preferred a Tifa, a Tifa episode, but whatever. Oh, I know. A souffle is probably not that tough. <laughs> okay, Doctor Who reference, definitely. <laughs> Please tell me we don't have another one. Good. Alright, so that is the complete another checklist. We are ready to move on. But we will do that next time as... One, I am... Well, one, uh, as you can 
can tell by the length of this video, this was definitely the last of what I needed to do. I'm glad this is Nate's last. Good way to cap things off. But we will see each other next time. Where we will continue on with the story. Oh man, this is going to be so good once the story begins. I'm fairly cer certain our friend here is going to be happy to get going. Don't tell me if they're... Uh, okay, what's my party look like right now? The worst for wear, but not terrible. And I never did stock up like I planned on, but whatever. Oh, well, we'll catch up next time. See you soon. And, of course, keep it real, folks. Bye-bye.